For me, it's about family. That's it, family. That's what this show is about. Um, Tracy wouldn't be who she was, I don't think, if she didn't have amazing parents and an amazing home life. She's got a chronically overweight, uh, agoraphobic mother. <laughs> and she has an amazing father. An amazing father. And Edna has a wonderful husband. The rock of their lives. The reason that they do what they do. And the man who loves them beyond all others. So finding the right person to play this role was absolutely crucial. When I heard this gentleman might be interested in, in playing the role of Wilbur, I couldn't believe our luck. And when we met, I just knew he was going to be sensational. And I'm so excited to <laughs> welcome to the stage Mr. Paul Merton. <laughs> Hello, Paul. <laughs> we look like a couple. Yes, we are. I can see why I married you. Oh. Yeah. I mean, be honest, be honest. Although our child looks nothing like either one of us. A couple of pints you would. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, this is your first musical? First musical, yes. I, I was in a pantomime at Wimbledon Theatre a, a, a couple of Christmases ago, which had music in it, and uh, I, I've already met the choreographer and I've told him this is a professional challenge which he won't be able to meet, because I am one of those people who can't dance. Not only am I not aware of what I should be doing, I'm also aware of not when I should be doing it. So it's, uh, but anyway, he said it's walking to music for my part, so I'm, I'm reasonably happy about that. That's actually not true, Paul. There no. is a lot of dancing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm sure, but I don't think anybody on, on the audience will be watching anybody else when I'm dancing on stage. I, can't I shall draw the focus of the way which you won't believe. <laughs> It's amazing how one person can ruin an entire production. <laughs> I look forward to that. Yeah, you, you yeah, will. But, so, is that one of the reasons why you wanted to do this, the challenge? Of it? Yeah, well, it's very much a show about a man that runs a joke shop, and uh, <laughs> there's some family involvement for other members of the cast, but it's not really important. He's, uh, no, I mean, to be serious, I, I did, one of the first things I remember seeing uh, in, in the theatre that really knocked me out was Michael Crawford in a, a, a musical called Billy, which was in the early 70s, and based on the book Billy Liar. And I, I was, when, when good musical theatre works, it really is astonishing, it transports you more than any other form of theatre. There's something about, and this, is, this show is very much what this, you know, what, what this show is about, is the ability to transform an audience, to transport you to another place, so you come out just feeling ten foot taller than when you went in. And, and you know, when, I, when one of the producers asked me to sort of do this, I was a bit bemused because it's not what I would normally do. Um, but as I say, it is the major role. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I've resisted it being called Wilbur because I think that's unfair to the rest of you. But uh, essentially, uh, no, I'm, I'm pleased to be playing a small part in it because uh, obviously it's, it's not my, what I'm used to, but I am a stage performer, so I, I, have, I have played pantomime with Twanky, so this is again another challenge, but I'm looking forward immensely to uh, you know, uh, making it work. I mean, I, I think of you, uh, and, and so I know most of, people do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my dreams at night. Yes. Uh, especially now. But yeah. I, I think of you, um, very much thinking on your feet. You, you, you're a, yes. one of the greatest improvisers I've ever seen. And this is a different kind of a thing. How, how easy is it for you to, well, to, to take is, a role? In some ways, uh, it's... Well, it's how you look at it. In some ways, it's easier because there's a safety net in that there's a, there's a script, there's, there's choreography, there's, there's direction. Uh, and the challenge in, in that is to make every show work to the best of its ability. Every moment is has, you know, that mo we, we share a song together. And I, I really don't know why you're risking your reputation in this way. Because <laughs> there's no way you're coming out of this unscathed, I can tell you. <laughs> um, but there will be moments in every show where you say, okay, we've got to hit that dramatic moment, or we've got to hit that comedy line. So it's a different discipline. Um, but that's, that's, that's great, because it's, it's, a, it's a different kettle of fish than what I'm used to. But it does feel, you know, I feel as if I'm in very good hands. We'll look after you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the most, the most important question I think I have for you is, are you a good kisser? <laughs> uh, yes, but not to music. <laughs> That's one thing we're going to have to work on. Absolutely. We'll, 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 we'll practice out of hours. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited to do it. No, I, 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 I'm genuinely excited as well to be, a, to be playing a, 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 you know, a small part, but even an important part in, in this big machine, which is a, a, a West End musical with sort of Broadway directors and stuff. It is something I never would have thought I'd be doing. And uh, so, I, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to be part of it. I really am. Well, it's brilliant that you are. It's Thank brilliant. you. And you will have the time of your life. I'm sure I will. Paul Thank you.